Yo, man, hey, man, say, man, it's your boy Fresh Dex in the flesh. How y'all boys day going? My day going great. Thanks for asking. But before we begin this banger, 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 this video is actually sponsored by Yeeb Kicks. Yeeb Kicks is actually a shoe company website that offers people high quality replica shoes at an affordable price. Those shoe brands being Jordans, Nikes, Off White, Adidas, Yeezys, etc. A lot of these prices range from uh, 90 something dollars to 100 and so dollars. Definitely copy you one of these shoes, bro. No cap, no cap. Get your drip up. Yeep Kicks shipping method is DHL shipping within five to nine working days. Yeet Kicks offers payment methods from PayPal, TransferWise, and even the Western Union. Okay, guys, this is some of the following information you can reach Yeep Kicks on. By the way, guys, make sure to follow Yeep Kicks on Instagram as well. I might even do, you know, shoe review on their shoes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys just to see what the drip looking like. No cap. Y'all gonna be sleeping. Y'all gonna be sleeping. You know, once I show y'all that drip, y'all gonna be like, yo, I need to cop me a pair too. I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys. So make sure you go ahead and cop you a pair, all that good stuff. And make sure to follow Yeep Kicks on Instagram. Before you guys cop your pair of J's, make sure you use my discount code FRESHDEX to get $10 off your next purchase. That being said, let's get into the video. Y'all boys already read the title of this video. Today's video, we're going to be discussing how does NBA Youngboy hair grow so fast, bro? So I'm going to be, you know, filling in the details and my speculation from the research and everything that I gathered up. But anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. A lot of you guys in the DM section, bro, been sending me this video right here. I found this video very interesting because as you guys watching this right now, you can see NBA Youngboy is actually using whole blend leave-in conditioner for his freeform dreadlock journey. Yeah, I found that very interesting. Uh, just this video as a whole, just because I don't know why will you like consider just you know, constantly applying leave-in conditioner for your freeform journey. Um, I feel like the lack of products is more suitable for freeform dreadlocks than anything else because if you apply a lot of random products in there, you're gonna face a lot of buildup problems and a lot of buildup issues because it's gonna lead to a lot of that over time because you're applying, you know, so many leave-in conditioners and everything else, and you basically treating your hair as it's like loose natural hair. In reality, it's not because it's freeform dreadlocks and they're gonna lock in so many areas. So once your hair lock and you still applying so many products in there, it's gonna take a longer time for your hair to lock because you have so much uh, leave-in moisture in your hair as well. And your hair can fully lock when it's clean and dry, you know, with some oils as well. You can do like some scalp massages and everything on your scalp just to promote some hair growth and just allow your hair to grow faster over time. But using whole blend leave-in conditioner, um, I believe a lot of y'all boys probably even getting into this method just because you see NBA young boy do it. I advise you guys not do it if y'all taking my advice so you won't have build up in the future and that won't lead to you using other leaving products and just a lot of other products that's promoting loose natural hair and not dreadlocks. So you won't allow a lot of those leaving creams and moistures just to lock up all in your hair. You know, some uh, creams and stuff are good, you know, like Jamaican mango and lime, but you don't apply that to your hair every morning. It shouldn't be a routine or anything like that, if y'all understand what I'm saying. So, you know, a perfect example is what if you use Jamaican mango and lime or tropical uh, mango and lime, I don't know, something like that, tropical roots, yeah, tropical roots cream, right? And you usually use that for your retwist. Imagine applying that for like a leave-in conditioner every single morning or every single night. That's going to create a lot of buildup. Your hair probably going to get itchy as well. And it's going to be hard to get out of your hair. 
because you have it in freeform dreadlocks. It's a lot easier to get it out when you have maintained basic like dreadlocks, but that's basically why I have to say about that. Just my opinion on that uh, video clip right there, guys. I hope that makes sense. In conclusion, guys, I believe NBA Youngboy is using whole blend leave-in conditioner because you can't grow your hair faster without moisture, and it decreases the chances of breakage throughout your hair journey as well. Deep leave-in conditioner can bring out the life in your hair as well, and using shampoo with no sulfate because sulfates actually strips your hair for all its natural nutrients, and you definitely need that throughout your hair journey as a whole or it's going to be damaged. Don't over shampoo your hair as well, guys. And doing frequent scalp massages definitely promotes a lot of faster hair growth. And guys, taking consideration your hair's health and having a great diet and using biotin to get the vitamins you need for your hair and for your body as a whole. And definitely make sure you drink a lot of water. And to just summon up everything I was saying basically throughout this video is... At the end of the day, there's no magical product that's basically going to grow your hair overnight or just grow it fast as a whole. They just advertise it like that so you can just buy the product. So anyways, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'm going to see y'all again on our next banger on the road to 1K. And I'm out of here. Peace.